Hello friends! Greetings from Iceland! See where I am? I am in the Wonderland. See those volcanic formations here? They are quite peculiar. We have numerous craters here. They are called Nukar. In Icelandic, Nukar means peaks. Peak and Nukar peaks. Some of them are very small, like this one. I wonder if this is a hornito or or a volcanic cone, it's hard to say, but obviously there was a fissure here, as you see, and lava had been erupting here. We are on the summit of a sealed volcano uh, from many thousand years ago. I don't know, probably older than five, six, seven, hard to say. But definitely after Ice Age retreated from Iceland, perhaps eight, seven thousand, I don't know. Hard to say, but look at this thing. It's not very high, maybe 10 meters. Uh, and then we have those uh, small peaks, uh, about 20 meters high each one. And obviously lava was erupting from those peaks and it's cooled down as it had been flowing down. They are visible from very far away. And it's quite close to Reykjavik, actually. It's only maybe 45 minutes drive from the city. But you never find a tourist here. <laughs> Tourists go only by the beaten tracks. You know, you will see all the tourists in Geysir, Gudfoss, along the Golden Cycle Route. 99.9% .9 of tourists are there. <laughs> and no human tend to follow the crowd. They are sheep, they follow the crowd, they don't go off beaten track. Very few, very few. So that's why you don't find tourists in such wonderful locations as this one, call it Nukar. There is a road here anybody could drive and explore this place. It's only 400 meters from the road to come here. But I only saw two cars since I arrived here about maybe one hour ago. You know, already did two drone flights, now I just walk around the train. I climbed this one. It's my second time here, actually. I was here a few years ago. I live very close from here, as you know. I live on this town there, next to the ocean. Uh, it's called Thorlax Hub, you see? So it's rather close to my town where I live. It's only... I've been living here for the past six years, and... Uh, I like to come to such locations as this one to make some videos and enjoy the nature, do some hiking. And uh, those craters, they are well visible from the place where I live, from Thorlake Shop. But the road is not very good to drive here because it's a gravel road. But, well, any car could drive. I came with a small car, so I mean, I should drive slowly. Only maybe. Five kilometers drive by, by a gravel road, and you come to those beautiful craters. There are maybe ten of them here. One, two, three. There are a few more a bit further, and a few more on that side. Maybe ten, fifteen, hard to say. And they are the distance of uh, like 200 meters from each other. You see. So obviously, this is definitely lava, basaltic lava that had been flowing uh, all around here. It's overgrown with moss, as you see. So we will go up this uh, crater. Nina climbed that one. I made a video of her on the top of that crater. But we will hike this one to <laughs> together so that you could see it. from the summit. It's a sealed lava here. And it, it's very vast. It had been erupting probably for for a long time, for a year maybe, for a few years. God knows. Because Iceland was uninhabited back then. And nobody knows what was going on here exactly. But we can only guess and Resume. Anyway, so we will go to the top and then I will uh, go back to the car. 
there are no earthquakes in this area so you you can be safe that I'm safe here I can be sure that I'm safe it's not too hard to climb it because that has a lot of rocks kind of easy to step step by step oops here we are on the top of the morning it can be very windy here so guys here we are not even Icelanders come here nobody comes here for some reason it's a nice place especially in the summer you see how they look one two then you see more if you you will see from the drop all of them and that is a gate of fat I know this man because I shouted you this man so many times the table of Kiro from the ice I go to my own and that is Ingvar's Fjord over there it's yet another table, mountain table we came up to you from the ice edge name it so often Ingvar or Arnus from the first settler of ice who is buried on the top of the mountain according to the legend though they never found this relics there some say he never existed because <laughs> nobody knows what is in the sagas true and what is had been added or invented anyway so we go down now see there are a lot of rocks because of iron or the presence of iron in basaltic lava you have to be careful though here it's kind of it's no fun to get to twist your ankle here in the middle of nowhere but we are careful Yes. Those are crowberries growing here. Anyway, Nina is waiting for me in the car, so we have to hurry up. See how how much red rocks we have here. You see, it's super red. It's called Scoria, if I'm not mistaken. Scoria. We find a lot of Scoria at the craters, at the places where the lava was coming from the volcano. Here you see it. So here we say goodbye to Nuka craters. Then go back to the castle. This lava felt overgrown with lava. I mean, lava field overgrown with moss. <laughs> I need to pay attention to what I'm talking. <laughs> anyway. So, beautiful volcanic formations on the top of a shield plateau called Salvox Hiding. I will look, I'll take a better look on the geological map of Iceland to see the exact age of those craters and how big is the lava field and everything. I do have a very detailed map of the Reykjanes Peninsula geological map and that we can check on that. But yeah, kind of foggy today in Iceland, cloudy. But we had great northern lights yesterday, I don't know if you know, in Iceland, around 11 o'clock, incredible aurora about Alex show. It was even visible in my town where I live, 20 buses from the company I work for went for northern light tour yesterday, only for one company. Thousands of people come to Iceland primarily to see northern lights. It's a goal number one when they come to Iceland and then they also take the golden second. Some of course tours maybe, but very few come to this location for off the beaten track as I say. Anyway, I'm 
going back to the car. The small walk is starting to rain. Not fun. And there you see the Atlantic Ocean. And in the town where I live is over there. there. There's some salmon farms along the ocean. They are building a few more new ones. Quite big salmon farms. In fact, the biggest in Iceland. So I wish you all the best. Peace and blessings from Iceland. May God richly bless you and your family. Be well.